Good day, Kafalcos. This is your medic Rio, and this time, I will be sharing with you some insights on what we do during vertical rescue drill. Department of Fire and Emergency Services, Government of Western Australia, states that vertical rescue skills are used to safely rescue people trapped at heights or depths in often hostile environments. This includes high-rise buildings, cliff faces and crevices, caves, mine shafts, wells, towers, masts, as well as industrial settings. In both onshore and offshore rig, heights such as the mast and derrick are where possibly the vertical rescue are likely applicable. Why is it crucial to urgently rescue trapped victims at heights? Prompt worker rescue is imperative after a fall has been arrested on a fall protection system because of suspension trauma. Suspension trauma are injuries sustained from being immobilized in a vertical position when the legs are relaxed and immobile. It includes hypoxia or an insufficient oxygen reaching the tissues, syncope or fainting, hypoxemia, and abnormally low levels of oxygen in the blood causing shortness of breath, acidosis, eventual ventricular fibrillation, or irregular contractions of the heart, myocardial infarction, damage to the liver, kidneys, brain, and possibly death. The onset of symptoms may be after just a few minutes, but it usually occurs after at least 20 minutes of free hanging. So for best results, an unconscious worker needs to be rescued within 5 minutes. If a worker is unconscious and his brain is not receiving enough oxygen, he will have a higher chance of experiencing brain damage after 5 minutes without oxygen. After 10 minutes, the brain is likely to suffer severe damage in addition to organ system failure. At this point, the worker is at very high risk of death. And that is the very essence of why each Saudi Aramco contractor is required to have a vertical rescue plan in place. Moving on to the drill procedures. First, a crew or crew members witness a fall victim hanging on a fall protection system. Public announcement will be immediately made. Man down, Derek! Man down, Derek! Or whichever is the IP's location. Rescue team who's trained for vertical rescue is alerted and they assemble toward the location with necessary PPE and rescue equipment. The team's primary responsibility is to remove the IP the quickest possible time from the hanging position and move safely to the rig floor or any safe area. Simultaneously, supervisor or any crew shall make public announcement. Man down, medic to the rig floor. Man down, medic to the rig floor. I will then respond through PA. This is medic, man down acknowledged, on my way to rig floor. Wearing complete PPE, I will go to the rig floor with my emergency response bag and portable oxygen resuscitator. Upon arrival at the area and initial contact with the IP, quick assessment shall be done. In addition to the basic ABC management of a patient who has been involved in a suspended fall, medics shall keep in mind the number of minutes the IP has been suspended in a vertical position motionless. This vital information 
along with assessment for suspension trauma, is very significant all throughout patient's case management. For longer than 30 minutes of being suspended in a vertical position, IP should be kept in a sitting or sit in the W position for at least 30 minutes to prevent rescue death. Assessment data and IP's treatment management shall be relayed to the highest authority on the rig. In this case, since we are working for Aramco, Saudi Aramco foreman receives the information. If a medevac is needed, Saudi Aramco foreman is responsible to initiate a request for a chopper. Otherwise, once IP's condition has been stabilized, he can assume a supine position on basket stretcher. Thereafter, the crane will lift the stretcher basket and lower the IP down to the main deck where medic and the rest of the rescue team await. IP will then be brought to the clinic for further detailed assessment and additional management if necessary. All persons involved in the vertical rescue drill assemble. The overall outcome will then be discussed. And the drill ends. There you have it, Kafalcos, a very summarized presentation. If you have questions, please let us know on the comment section. Thank you and see you next time.